Hey everybody, welcome into this Adobe Photoshop tutorial brought to you as always by tutvid.com. If you're new around here, my name is Nathaniel Dodds and today we're going to take a look at ways to realistically change eye color in Photoshop, specifically going brown eyes to blue eyes and blue eyes to brown eyes. And if you can do that, you can kind of hit any of those hazily, almost like baby gray kind of colors along the way. Let's jump into Photoshop and just check this thing out. Well, alrighty, here we are in Adobe Photoshop, and I guess let me give you a couple examples to kick this whole thing off. Uh, number one, we've got this young lady who goes from brown eyes to blue eyes, and there we have the change that is made. Uh, also, this, she actually had bluish eyes, and we made them brown. And then this, maybe the worst of the transition here that I'll show you today, kind of this brown, I guess maybe heading really into the hazel green territory to blue. And then the one that we're gonna be working with today, where we have these two young ladies, and uh, here the model on the right actually had the blue eyes and the model on the left had the brown eyes and lo and behold, we changed it up. So let's get started with this image. How do we begin the process? Well, let's work on old brown eyes here and give her some blue eyes. And I like to begin with the quick selection tool. Now you can click on, or quick selection mode, I should say. You can double click to click on, or to, to open up the options. What am I saying here? You can double click to open up your quick mask options. And I like to work on this with selected areas uh, ticked on. I also change my color to green, but you can really work with whatever color you like. Then go ahead and grab the brush tool. I want to paint with my foreground color set to black. I'm going to zoom in on the eye quite a bit. I'm going to reach over here and grab my pen and I am just going to quickly paint with black. I need to actually make sure that I'm in quick mask mode. I accidentally got out of it. You go into quick mask mode and paint. And you can see we're laying down this temporary green overlay. We're not doing any damage to the image. It's just overlaying this green and I'm going to quickly paint over both the eyes and we'll be in business in no time flat here. All right, so you can see a very, very rough selection over both eyes. We painted right over the pupils, the catch lights, everything. Um, one thing you're going to see that we're going to be doing in a little bit is we're going to get rid of any effect on the catch lights because we want those wonderful light catch lights that give the sparkle to the eye. We want to make sure that those are still giving sparkle to the eye. And if they're like a heavy brown or blue color, it looks really fake and eye color doesn't cover up catch lights. So we wanna make sure the catch lights don't have any of that color effect. I'm gonna show you how to adjust the masks uh, to do that in just a moment. Let's get back to Photoshop. All right, so here, uh, what we're ready to do now, I dropped a little green daub up there. Simply hit the letter Q to exit quick mask mode and we have our wonderful little set of selections here. And now what we need to do is add a black and white adjustment layer right there. Boom, we've got a black and white effect. We've sucked all the color and life out of these eyes. Things are good. Uh, let's go ahead and command or control click on that mask that we just created to reload the selection and then add a hue saturation layer as well. Now here's where the magic happens. We're going brown to blue. We're going to tick on colorize and generally I'll set my hue to about 195 to 200 for blue. Uh, I will also reduce the saturation quite a bit down below 10. Here I'll go with about six uh, and I'll also just for this case drop a couple ticks of lightness. You really don't want to go extreme with the lightness because it just looks really bad but a couple of little ticks, you know, plus two, plus three. I think I'll just go plus two. Uh, that can help us out here. Uh, now, if I zoom in on the eyes, you can see that we do have the blue color covering the pupil and the catch light. So here in this mask, make sure I have the mask selected. I'm going to go and grab my brush tool and I want to make sure that I'm painting with black as my foreground color. So hit the little flippy flop arrows. Use my square bracket keys to make my brush a little smaller and just paint black over the catch light and also paint black over the pupil here. So there we go. We just wipe out the color there and the important part of the eye and the catch light. And I'm going to do the same here for this catch light and the pupil of this eye as well. So it doesn't look like we're doing much, but it's going to make a huge difference. All right, great. Now that we have that, we need to uh, continue sort of blending this into the way the image looks. We're once again going to command or control click this hue saturation mask. And I'm going to add a levels adjustment layer. We just have one more levels adjustment layer after this to add. Grab the white point and slide it all the way up till about the first uh, the first sign of whiteness here in the layer. And then I'm going to go layer, layer style, blending options. And I am going to, I'm going to move my dialog box over here. I'm going to alt or option click on the bottom black slider here for the underlying layer. Alt or option click on it and just drag, just drag until we get rid of the this effect on the darker areas of the eye. And we're just retaining the sort of spike of brightness in the lighter areas of the eye. And then I, always, I also like to reduce layer opacity a little bit. So what we're doing is we're just brightening the already bright bits in her eye to make it look a little more realistic. And if you wanted to, you could also add another levels adjustment layer to dark 
darken and maybe reduce or increase uh, contrast a little bit. I don't really think we need that here. If anything, this edge of the mask needs to be cleaned up a little bit. So I'll go hue saturation. So it's just got a little bit too much brown looking stuff there. So I'll make my brush a little bigger. I want to hit the flippy flop arrow. So I'm painting with white. And I just want to try to get rid of that little fringing of brownness there. So there we have it, something like that. We cover up that bit of her eye. And there we have it. We have converted her from a, a brown-eyed girl to a blue-eyed girl. Now, let's talk about tackling the blue eyes. I'm going to grab these layers. I'm just shift-clicking and then hit the letter, uh, hit the hotkey Command or Control G to group that stuff up. All right, let's go back to the background. Let's work on these blue eyes. Once more, we're going to hit the letter Q, grab our brush tool, and I'm painting with the color black. I'm just going to paint over both of the eyeballs, just like so, and get myself a nice base mask here to work with. And once I have that, go ahead and hit the letter Q. And we've got our selections. Of course, we're going to begin with our black and white adjustment layer. That's great. By the way, you do have all these color channels. You could sort of brighten different parts of the eye or darken different parts of the eye if you felt the need. I'm not really going to mess around with it. Usually, the default works just fine. Commander Control click that layer mask to reload the selection and add a hue saturation adjustment layer as well. Now, here we're not interested in getting blue. We're interested in, in making this brown. So once again, tick on Colorize. And here, we're going to set a hue of about 20. So these kind of reds, orangey colors. That's what we want. Then I'm going to push saturation up to about, I don't know, let's say 40. And here we want to do kind of something extreme with the lightness sliders. I'm going to push it down to about negative 50. So this is where we really want our levels adjustment layers to begin bringing some of the texture and light back out of the eyes. Uh, but also you can see just how awful the eyes look if we don't make those catch lights shiny again. See how fake her eyes look? So what we'll do, of course, make sure we have that hue saturation mask selected. Grab our little brush tool, make sure we're painting with a foreground color set to black, make my brush a little smaller, and just paint over this catch light, and you can be as precise or not precise as you like, and then also, of course, paint over her, uh, her little pupil in there, and there we go, we got the one eye done, let's go over to the other eye, I'm holding down the space bar key, by the way, if you're not familiar, and just clicking and dragging, that allows you to just quickly scrub around your Photoshop document, and we're going to paint this away here on the inside of the iris or the pupil, excuse me, just like that. And already it's looking way better. I'm going to zoom in here, see how we kind of have a little bit of a uh, missing part of the mask down there. Well, we can paint with white, and we can just make sure all that gets filled in with color, because that's going to look pretty bad as we move forward if we have sort of a rim of, of non-colorness at the bottom of her eye. So we're going to make sure we get that stuff covered up. All right, Command or Control click the Hue Saturation Mask, and go ahead and add a Levels Adjustment Layer. We're going to do that same trick where we pull the white point all the way over to this, just where we first start seeing the spikes here on our Levels Adjustment. And, of course, we'll go layer, layer style blending options. We're going to, well, let me move the dialog again, alt or option click to split that bottom handle and just really contain this effect into the brighter parts of the eye. And we can also reduce uh, opacity a little bit. Hit OK. And I think here we will add a contrast levels adjustment layer as well. So Command or Control click that uh, mask, add another levels adjustment. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the darkness of these eyes overall by dragging the midpoint to about 0.80 or so. I might try to push a little bit more black into uh, the uh, the image or the eyes, I should say, by jacking up the, the true black point or the black handle I should say and then there's just too much contrast now so to ease off the contrast in the blacks we're going to drag up the black output slider just until the black matches if you go too far see you're going to get this really bad effect but just a really subtle couple ticks can really make a difference in terms of adding some life to her eyes so you can see that fourth levels adjustment layer really made a big difference so we can click on our top layer hold down shift click on the bottom layer hit command or control g and just like that, we've gone from the brown eyes on the one side, the blue eyes on the other, and we flipped it right around. Just a couple adjustment layers, and we did both of those effects with me explaining all that nonsense along the way in about 10 minutes, a little bit less than 10 minutes. So it's, an, it's a technique that once you get it down pat, you can change somebody's eye color in literally a couple minutes and do a really, really nice and very realistic job, whether it's a high contrast a uh, studio portrait like this or something that's like this where it's a photo that's on location and and uh, maybe there's a little soft box there but uh, it's it's primarily lit using natural light and it's a, it's a kind of a low contrast treatment that's been applied to the photo you can make it work either way so it's a very versatile and very easy to use effect and I hope you enjoyed it well there you have it 
it's not too bad, right? A few adjustment layers, a little bit of masking, some painting and brushing here and there, and adjust a couple sliders, and boom, you can make the change. It's really those two base colorized hue saturation layers. If you get those right, it really doesn't matter what color the eyes are because you reduce it to black and white with the black and white layer. Then you add your color, and you're pretty much good to go. A couple adjustments, and uh, everything is wonderful. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you want more Photoshop tutorials like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button, but don't just hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the little notification bell because does subscribing do anything anymore these days on YouTube? I don't know. But the notification bell will make sure that you are notified every time a new Photoshop tutorial just like this one goes live on the channel so you never miss a thing. And I appreciate you guys' support so very much for learning a little bit about adjustment layers and the basics of changing eye color and all the fun stuff we covered here today in this Photoshop tutorial. That's a mouthful. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great tutorials every day. Also, buy my course. It helps us do what we do, and this channel is supported by viewers just like you. You can also just click the thumbnail and watch another video from this channel. See you next time, guys.